Ever stop to think about the everyday things around you? Your phone, your clothes, your furniture, heck, even the dental floss you're using. They're all made with chemicals. We're talking about the not-so-friendly ones linked to health issues like cancer. And the worst part? There's not enough being done to change it. Well, that's stupid. Reducing the use of hormone-disrupting chemicals is a really good idea. There are other ideas that are probably not so good. Hormone-disrupting chemicals in everyday products are pushing girls into earlier puberty. This increases the risk of breast cancer in the future. How do we address this problem? Yeah, because... How about pretending it's not a problem? That was really smart. Yeah. Did you know that hormone-disrupting chemicals can change the DNA of unborn fetuses? The effects may not show now, but decades later when they have babies of their own. One of the nastiest things about these chemicals is that even small doses can have serious effects. Do I have hormone-disrupting chemicals inside me? Yeah. We're actually polluted from birth. But why? Because there are toxic chemicals in the umbilical cord. Why? Because when your mummy carried you, she had chemicals in her blood that was passed on to you through her umbilical cord. Why did she have chemicals inside her? Because people are exposed to hormone-disruptive chemicals each day through everyday consumer products. Why? Well, because industries use harmful chemicals like those as ingredients in our products. Stupid. Yeah, it is. Things you didn't know that you didn't know. Why are hormone disrupting chemicals harmful to us? Mm -hmm. I don't know. They can cause cancer, infertility, ADHD, obesity, and other health issues. That's bad. Researchers have also linked hormone disruptors to the huge decline in sperm. I've heard that grown-up sperm count has been decreasing the last decades. Yeah. Is that true? Maybe. Really? In the last 40 years, Western men's sperm count has declined by 59%. Okay. Researchers claim this is due to exposure to hormone-disrupting chemicals in everyday products. That's a problem, right? It's a little... strange. Fortunately, we can unwrap ourselves from the chemical crisis we're currently in. We just need our politicians to listen to us. And that's something you can help out with. Sign the petition now! <laughs>